Good evening and welcome to College Softball here on the SEC Network. Coming to you on a Friday night here in Starkville, Mississippi. News Park is the site of tonight's matchup as 23rd ranked Mississippi State takes on Troy. Top of the order for the 15 and four Troy Trojans. Riggs gives it a ride out deep to right and it's in and out of the glove of Paige Cook. This will be a triple if it scored a base hit at all for Riggs and the Trojans who have some really good offensive numbers to the season. Baker is the batter, high fly ball, fairly deep in left, St. Clair calls for it. Tagging is Riggs, throw home is cut off, throw to second not in time, and Troy manufactures a run. If they can't, well then maybe they'll settle for the fly out, but that time Baker, the way she was swinging, she was trying to fly out on purpose, and it worked out. Speaking of working out, Wesley Blaine back in the lineup after not playing last night. Bunt laid down, stays fair, throw to first, not in time. Sacco beats the throw. The 2-2 on its way. Fly ball could be trouble. It's deep, it is off the wall. Sacco had to hold up. She rounds third. She will score, we're tied. Barbary will end up at third, and Cook has herself a stand-up double. To the freshman second baseman, Hawkins. Hits one right up the middle for a base hit. Scoring is Barbary. Stopping at third is Cook. The Bulldogs go station to station. The first five in the order. Everything is working out in state's favor so far. This at bat, high ball, and how about a grand slam for Jesse Blaine. The Bulldogs are putting on a hitting clinic here in the first inning, and they have exploded now for six runs and are on top six to one. St. Clair shows bunt, pops it up. Play will not be made. Well, normally a popped up, hits one through for a base hit. This will score one, maybe two. Throw home is not in time. Good slide by Sacco. She and St. Clair both score five singles. There's a ball blasted out to right field, back and making the catch, almost sliding down to one knee was Riggs. Big jump off the bag. That ball is gonna be at the knees for strike three, and Finch knew it immediately <laughs> of this presentation. Swing and a miss, Wesley comes back with a huge flurry of strikeouts and before oh ground ball quickly up the middle for a base hit Weselowski gets in on the hit parade and now everybody in the lineup currently for state hitting above 300 including Kylie Edwards who just got her first hit for the Bulldogs taking as you would expect is Barbary and it misses and that will be a Run walked in as Wessel had outscored their opponents 18 to one. Paige Cook hits one, will it be caught? It will not. It's off the glove of Finch and this could clear the bases and it will. Three come home to score and Cook diving back to the bag gets the it, job I, selling it, yes. Yeah. Line drive off the bat of Cassidy Bolts. And Bolts has now been on base twice tonight. Three. And has struck out 18. That ball is going to find its way through into right field. Cut off by Sells. The inning. This should be at least one. Relay is not quite in time. Runs going to score as Troy is able to get Thompson home from third. So at third base, we got Megan Davidson. And there she is. Look at there. Right on cue, Megan Davidson forced her to make another play. High fly ball, should be caught though. Bernie calls for it, she makes the grab. How about that? Two defensive replacements and they their last strike. Slow roller, gloved and flipped in one motion by Fapito. And that will put the exclamation point on this one, a dominating effort by 23rd ranked Mississippi State. Cody, they lead.